where do you typically see friction between these groups, especially during the design and rollout of high availability clusters? Well, we see friction in the groups when the requirements of each of the group uh, come into conflict. For example, the application owners are responsible for keeping critical applications up and running. And so the SAP team or the Oracle team or the SQL Server team uh, have to keep those systems up and running. And when they fail, it, they're the ones that get the phone calls from the angry accounting staff or the manufacturing floor or the uh, financial services team that can't do their job because that system is down. And so they are very concerned with uptime and protection of those systems and also with automation because they don't want to be dependent on calling in a third party, another group even within the organization, if that system has some kind of difficulty. So the application owners are very concerned with uptime and availability, whereas the infrastructure team is tasked with uh, TCO, with total cost of ownership. Their real goal is to make sure that everything is very efficient, that every penny spent on their infrastructure pays back in dividends, and that they're, they're not overspending on anything that isn't run as efficiently as possible. So their concern is more about um, conformity and consistency, that the applications are deployed in a uh, uniform way in very similar uh, environments across their, their uh, organization, and that they don't require special training or special uh, processes or anything that is unusual um, because that adds cost to their uh, streamlined systems. And so those are the two uh, areas that they are, those two groups are advocating for, and those can come into uh, direct conflict when it comes to a high availability environment. 